Good evening, folks. Welcome to Live at Jack's Place. I'm just having a fight with a curtain. Bear with me one second. We'll have to shut the window. Yeah, hold on. I'm going um, <laughs> to... Uh, it's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> How you all doing? <laughs> Crash bang wallop. So, can you see us? Can you hear us? Please let us know. Is someone's volume on? So, I think... Yeah, Jamie's got his phone on. I think he can oh. hear us. I'm just going to shut the window... So there's 29 people. Great. I was wondering if anyone would could even find us. I think it's working. <laughs> um, so, yeah, welcome back to Live at Jack's Place. It seems weird actually being here after, I think, we had two weeks off, so it was three weeks since we did the last one. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to playing again and back in a slightly different format here on YouTube. YouTube is actually much easier for a... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that noise, but Andre's making some strange noises. Um, so, yeah, e uh, YouTube is much easier for us to use, actually, so it's quite good. Anyway, do not share the, f the feed. For the first time ever, um, do not. You don't have to do anything. Sit back, relax. Um, yeah, normally I'm going to say, oh, please share, please share. You don't have to do that this time. And actually, just don't do it, because then other people, because they're trying to do the private thing and make it so people have to support it to watch it. Um, so hopefully we don't get any leaks and everyone here is part of the private members group or um, on the email list. So there's 197 people on the email, so <laughs> it's quite a lot of people. Um, so anyway, sit back, relax, have a good time. But we're going to kick off with a tune called Days of Wine and Roses. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. 
Days of Wine and Roses, a Henry, Henry Mancini tune. Um, stole a little bit of an arrangement of uh, Scott Hamilton. But anyway, how about a big hand for our special guest, Mr. Liam Byrne? Yeah. Woo! Hey. <laughs> also with the um, Back with the House band, Mr. Ed Harrison on the double bass. <laughs> 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 Andre Baranek on the piano. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Jamie Brown on the trumpet. <laughs> Woo! I'll give you one, mate. Yours truly, Jacques Cottrell on the drums. <laughs> it's nice to see. So I thought there was going to be hardly anyone watching tonight, actually. So it's really nice to see 40 plus of you. Um, so, yeah, thank you. You're all the diehard fans. It's wonderful. Um, I'm not going to say too much at the moment, but we're going to carry on with a, a tune called Split Kick. Uh, which I, who Does anyone know who wrote this? Oh, it's Horace Silver tune. Um, but I heard it on an album, which it's a Blakey album, I think. It's under his name, but Horace Silver's on piano, Clifford Brown trumpet, some other guys. So, uh, yeah, split kick.
Split kick, Horace Silver tune. It's very, very hot in here. Don't know about how you all. I bet you're nice and cool at home. Um, you can't have the window open down here because it's blowing the curtain everywhere. Anyway, so if you look like if it looks like I'm overheating, I haven't got COVID. I've uh, well, I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very hot. <laughs> um, you're enjoying yourselves. It's great to see so many comments uh, coming up still. I'm not sure how it all works on YouTube, but I think anyone can comment still. I don't know if you might have to have an account. Um, so if you can't comment, it probably means you have to have a YouTube account, or I think it's a Google account these days. So and that takes like a few minutes to sign up to, and uh, it's totally worth doing, and join in with the chat. So yeah, I'm just looking through bits now. Adrian Cox said he loves you, Liam. He told me to tell you. I think Jamie told you before, but... And someone commented on your very jazzy socks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow>. yeah. <laughs> Saxophone socks. Saxophone socks. <laughs> yeah. What socks are you wearing, Jamie? Ugly socks and um, all in black socks. Where are they from? Can't tell. No? Did your mum buy them for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Next one. Next. Oh, nice. I'm not even wearing any socks. I'm going commando, but on the feet. Um, anyway, <laughs> oh, um, this next tune, um, it's a tune which Ben Webster and Johnny Hodges, Liam said he was checking out some uh, Webster and Hodges stuff, uh, about when Adrian did a gig here, we did a couple of things I think, Adrian, um, but yeah, it's a great tune called I'd Be There, I don't know who wrote this either, who wrote this? No, I couldn't find out, um, but yeah, Webster, Hodges. They did it. It's great. Check it out. Anyway, we're going to carry on with that.
What a great tune. I'd be there. <coughs> so, time's going very quick, actually. I think I might have done too many tunes for the set. So, anyway, we're going to carry on with the chip. I'm going to do minimal talking. In terms of donations, I think you know the score with all this now. Um, I think it's a case of... Uh, yeah, I sh maybe I just won't say anything about donations. Obviously, please donate. Simple as that. Um, I put all the information out there, so it should be in the bio of this video. Um, so, yeah, just thanks for supporting. Uh, <laughs> simple. Um, but, yeah, we're going to carry on with a tune called um, Night in Tunisia, which I actually found out early... Earlier today, I was listening to uh, the Art Blakey album, actually, which um, Split Kick is on. And Art Blakey's doing a lot of talking in between the numbers, and they do uh, Night in Tunisia on that album. It's a tune written by Dizzy Gillespie. And apparently Dizzy Gillespie wrote this tune on the bottom of a garbage can in Texas. So there's a bit of knowledge for you. I assume Art Blakey's telling the truth.
Night in Tunisia. Dizzy Gillespie. How about that? Jamie Brownfield on the trumpet. Liam Byrne on the sax. Mr. Baronek. Mr. Harrison. Ed was saying um, earlier that he's uh, he's got a Vectra. What is it? A Zephira. Right, does anyone want a Vauxhall Zephira? 68,000 miles. 68,000 miles. <laughs> Full service history. Full service history. For free. <laughs> yeah, he only, he only wants 200 quid for it. <laughs> Failing that, we'll just do a raffle. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll do a raffle for it. <laughs> yeah, raffle next week. How about that, chaps? <laughs> Only ten p <peer> ticket. <laughs> so you got a one one in forty four chance of winning, but you could. <laughs> there you go, sold, done. <laughs> so yeah, first person to comment saying they want it, they can have it. <laughs> Two hundred quid, bargain. Anyway, we're gonna. <laughs> The tune here is um, a tune which a a James made famous, actually. Um, it's a Matt Gordon and uh, Harry Warren tune. Um, which, yeah, Etta James made it famous. But I actually heard it, uh, Emmett Cohen, I've mentioned him a few times on these streams. He does his own streams. And he had a great guest called Houston Person with him, a sax player. Who I, I'd never heard of, actually, until a couple of weeks ago. But he did... Um, this tune at last, and it's a great version. Anyway, I just wanted to do it, so we're doing it at last.
I really urge you to go and check out the um, Emmett Cohen one with the uh, Houston person. It's incredible. Um, so much uh, soul and blues in it. <coughs> anyway, we've got time for a couple more tunes. I can't believe how t- fast time's going. It's um, quick, yeah, it's really quick. It's so nice to be back playing for all all you lovely people. Um, I know there's a few gigs happening about and little stuff, but again, uh, Bojo. I might just call him Bojo. Um, has pushed everything back another four weeks, so um, a lot of people are getting gigs cancelled again. And but it's fine. We're going to do this. So hopefully, with your support, we can continue doing it over the uh, coming weeks, coming months, coming years. Maybe we sat here in twenty-five years. 
I'll probably be totally grey by then. <coughs> um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we've got two more tunes, so stick around, folks. Um, this next tune is a tune over the other tune. It's called Three Little Words, but it's called Two Little Words. Ri- is it written, the head, is, r- is that written by Austin and Roberts? Or Steve, yeah, it's either Austin and Roberts or Steve Fishwick. Um, can you guess what the two little words are? The two are my favourite words, actually. <laughs> Try and work it out. If uh, I dare the person who worked it out, write it in the comments. Thank you. 
you guess the word? Did you get it? I can't see that anyone's wrote it. So we've got live stream, jazz and gigs. Um, thanks, Cecilia. Is that your suggestion, Adrian? Um, music and animals. Uh, what, what have we got? Uh, it's all wrong. <laughs> the second word's you. <laughs> the first word begins with F. Can you? <laughs> I'm sure you all know what it actually is. I'm not going to say it. Andre's kids normally watch this. Are your kids watching? <laughs> I won't tell them then what it is. <laughs> um, anyway, again, thank you all for watching. Tune in. Do you think the new way works? I hope it works. Um, I think it does. It's quite YouTube's great, actually. Um, a few things to mention. Adrian Cox Sunday service is doing, and I've totally forgot what he's doing. <laughs> um, Anyway, 1 p.m., Adrian, put your thing in the uh, comments and everyone click going. But wait till we're finished before you go off YouTube. Um, but yeah, look for Adrian. I'm sure you've all clicked going anyway, but that's the main thing. Click going on Adrian's event. Um, and then on Saturday, Joe Webb doing 2 p.m. I think it's Joe, Will Sash and Dave Archer, the trio. So uh, all things to check out. There's still a lot of people... TJ on a Monday, I'm not sure he's actually doing. I can't. He swaps and changes his mind each week, so I'm not sure what he's up to. But, um, yeah, people are still doing stuff each week. So if you can support, please support. If you can support us by donating, definitely do. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. We're definitely going to do next week. So um, it's going to be the house band. You're all available, aren't you? Um, just four of us, but we'll be doing a theme on something. But I'll release that tomorrow, so... Stand by, basically, for that. Anyway, Ed Harris on the bass. Woo! Andre Baranek on the piano. Jamie Brownfield on the trumpet. <coughs> Yours truly on the drums. Special guest, Mr. Liam Byrne on the tenor sax and baritone sax. It's not me, Jamie, and Liam did gigs for years, and then Ed and all of us have played together, and we haven't played together for what? Going on for a year and a half? Well, yeah. before the pandemic. Yeah, so, November. is it November? Yeah. So, uh, bloody long time. So, yeah, it's great to get back together again and play. So, hopefully, we'll be playing to you in, uh, in public. And you can all dance and throw things at us then. Anyway, we're going to finish with a tune. And it's I wanted to get Liam down for the... Um, we did a Ben Webster and Harry Sweets Edison-themed thing. Uh, but Liam couldn't make it that week. Anyway, so I wanted to finish with a tune, um, which we did that week called Did You Call It A Day? It's also on the new CD, which is will be coming out at some point. I'm pretty useless at these things. But, yeah, next month, um, July, the CD will be out. You can all buy a copy. So, anyway, thanks, folks. See you next week, hopefully. Cheers.
Cheers, folks. See you next week, hopefully. Yeah. Big hand for the guys. I'm going to run over there, switch the thing off, so just ignore me now. <laughs> Goodbye.